Hello, listeners. I uh, just want to address one quick thing before we get into our episode. I introduced our castmate Hillary as Hillary Moon. However, I was mistaken, and her name is actually Hillary Stahlbaum. And with that, let's get into the episode. I come from the net, through systems, peoples, and cities, to this place, mainframe. My format, Guardian, to mend and defend, to defend my newfound friends, their hopes and dreams, to defend them from their enemies. They say the user lives outside the net and inputs games for pleasure. No one knows for sure, but I intend to find out. Reboot! Hello, listeners. This is The Archives of Mainframe, Episode Zero. My name is Ian Keneally, and joining me today are Hillary Moon, Corey Cohen, and Alexander Coate. This episode is going to be basically serving as our episode zero for the series. Um, none of us have ever really done any podcasting before, and this is our first go at it. So when you're giving your reviews and giving us your criticism, please be gentle. Mistakes will be made. We will fully admit that. Uh, but we're pretty good learners. We take whatever th- whatever we get and we make it always positive. So just please be gentle. Um, so the reason that we're uh, one of the reasons that we're doing this podcast is, uh, as many of you hopefully know, as of this recording, which is November thirtieth, uh, twenty fourteen, Rainmaker Entertainment has announced that they are making a brand new season of reboot. Much to the joy and delight of many of the fans, more so including us. Um, So we thought this would be a great way to celebrate uh, this announcement by going back, way back to 1994, back when we were all wee little children, and reviewing a very large piece of our childhood. So, uh, we're going to get right down to uh, our, uh, I guess, technically speaking, interview of my castmates so you guys can get to know them better. Uh, I guess we'll start off with myself. Um, Me, personally, I've never, as I've said, I've never done a podcast before. However, I have done a lot of other, um, uh, I guess you'd say community-based work. Uh, I'm a member, member of the Toronto Power Rangers, uh, which is a cosplay group here in Canada. And uh, I, I helped to manage the uh, uh, the Facebook page as well as the Twitter. Um, you know, uh, that's pretty much all that I've really done. You know, I, I do, you know, online gaming, you know, broadcasting on uh, Twitch and all that. But that's about everything that I do. Um, so... Now, I'm going to ask Corey, how about yourself? Hey, everybody, I'm Corey. I'm going to be uh, a bit of more of a periodic uh, appearance on this show as more of a periodic guest host or potentially as a substitute in case some of the other hosts here can't make it. So you won't be seeing me as much as the others, but I'll be around. As for what I've done elsewhere, uh, I've been doing Let's Plays for quite a few years under the uh, name of Corymon78. So I've been doing a lot of this, talking to basically my computer screen for a little while. First time podcasting, but other than that, I've, you know, just been around. I'm also a member of Toronto Power Rangers, a pretty new one myself. But Mm -hmm. that's pretty much where I've been coming from. Yeah. So, that's me. Oh, nice, man. Um, who wants to go next? Hillary, Alex? You guys uh, want to arm wrestle for sure. it? <laughs> I'll go. All right, Hillary, go ahead. Okay, I'm Hillary. I grew up watching Reboot, so I guess it kind of shaped who I am a little bit. I went to school for broadcast television. 
I got to be on local television. I got to interview Scott McNeil, who does the voice for Specky and Hack for the later half of the show. Very cool. Very cool. Um, you know, I I love Reboot. I have a button. I have the whole show on DVD, autographed by Michael, the original voice actor of Bob, and also Andrea, the voice of young Andrea. <laughs> so, yeah, that's me. Awesome. Um, how about you, Alex? Hey, well, me. It's, my name's Alex. Uh, if you can notice, I do have an accent. I'm French. Canadian. Um <laughs> I've been in d- doing reviews actually for over a year now with the website called Tree Gym. Uh, I've been working as well in the video and game industry for quite a few years, and I have a big interest in video games. But I do love shows, and Reboot has been one of the many shows I loved to watch when I was younger. I mean, 94, it's been a while now. <laughs> um, hopefully, we can bring you our own view of the shows and that's why I'm nice. All right. Well, uh, Hillary, I know you're the same age as me and such, uh, Mm -hmm. but how old were you all of you guys, uh, back when, uh, reboot first started? Um, I guess we'll start with Corey first since he went Uh, last, uh, first last time. Uh, 94. Uh, well then I would be about three years old at the time. So, you know, we little lads, I thought you were born in uh, 93, not 91. Nope. Oh, wow. I got, holy crap, I guess you're older than me. Go figure. <laughs> I always thought you were like a year or two younger than me. Uh, oh, nope. That's kind of cool. So uh, I was about three at the time. We were the lad. Um, still remember it quite clearly. Yeah. Uh, watching it back at the time, but it, it's been a while. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, what about you, Hillary? Uh, I think what where you probably would have been maybe two years old. Uh, 94? Yeah. Yeah, when it came out, but I didn't watch it till later. I think it was on YTV? Yeah, it, it yeah. was. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, that's pretty cool and all that. Uh, what about you, Alex? Yeah, I was nine. Oh, God, we must make you feel old, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you all are. <laughs> I was nine. Shit, uh, that, that means you're cool. seven years older than me. So, holy crap, dude, you look young for 29. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> i'll be 30 in three four months so yeah. holy fuck I, I honestly do when i first met you i i would not have placed you as like 29 30 god damn um all right well uh that's pretty cool and all that uh so you? uh well uh obviously you know uh same age as hillary so we would have been basically two years old at the time and then uh you know Obviously, maybe two or three years later and all, we would have actually been able to remember what we're watching (laughs) and all that stuff. Um, Okay, well, anyway, so moving on, uh, I know we've all fully watched the series before. So what were what are your earliest memories of the shows? Or the show, I should say. Oh, God. um, I just. Those days after school, sitting there watching white TV and reboot comes on, and I was always been quite the big computer nerd. Mm-hmm. So when there was a show about, you know, people inside the computer, I'm like, this is awesome. Uh, I remember having uh, little figurines of the characters uh, that I would play with, and I think I'm, they might still be downstairs, but I don't know. Um, my parents got rid of a lot of things in a garage sale when yeah, we were young. That's the issue with parents these days. They always get rid of all the good crap that we collect we over the years. We had so much stuff that oh. would have been worth a fortune nowadays. I know, like on eBay, you know, uh, like you'd be but, amazed. You know, back then, you uh, know, I, I've had good friends that, uh, you know, their parents, uh, when they were younger, would sell off their entire He Man collection, their entire Transformers collection for like. <laughs> 40 bucks for the whole lot or whatever and if they had kept them to this day they probably could have sold those things for hundreds of dollars so you know so yeah yeah (laughs) just those days back when i was kids in there watching ytv uh, and just having fun with it yeah holy crap i just realized something what you are not recording no 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 i am recording no it's uh 
<laughs> it's TPR related. Wait, if you're 23, fuck, I'm still the youngest guy on the team. God damn it. <laughs> yes, you are. All right. Can I talk Anyways, about? Yeah, sorry. Uh, going off topic there. Go ahead, Hillary. Okay. I remember when I watched Reboot for the first time, like, I'm pretty sure Reboot was the first CGI I ever saw. So mm-hmm. I was really confused and amazed. Like, it wasn't live action. It wasn't animated, like, by hand. And it was just it was just this new thing. It was, like, unique. It was, like, Reboot was just this special show that had its own thing. Mm-hmm. Well, it was the first fully CGI animated exactly. show ever, so. Yep. Um, yeah, no, I, I agree with you on that one. That's uh, what that's one of the reasons why it was such a special show back when it released and all that, uh, you know, it was very groundbreaking and such. Um, so yeah, anything else, Heather? No, it was just, it was, it's just an awesome show. Yeah. All right. Um, how about you, Alex? I was nine at the time. Um, I do remember it, although I remember like late night staying up and watching it Mm because it was, I'm pretty sure it was replaying later at night in 94. Mm-hmm. And so I was sneaking out of my room to go watch it on TV. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, that's That was the good years. Oh, of yeah. All the shows on TV at that time was so good. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's, it, it's making me feel old. Feel old. And then, <laughs> I mean, if they bring back that the, the TV series next year or soon after i'm gonna be 30 man it's gonna be i've been 16 years since that started oh shit oh yeah. boy i know man i know it, it's making me feel old just thinking about it and i'm <laughs> nine i am what uh seven years younger than you god damn um well i i guess for me uh and all that um back at the first house that my family lived in we didn't have cable so whenever we went over to my grandparents' place in Toronto, uh, that's where I got to really watch a lot of, you know, the YTV stuff and all that because we didn't have that channel. Uh, we just used to have the, the bunny ears uh, back where I used to live. And so whenever I went to Grandma and Grandpa's place, uh, that's when, you know, I got to watch YTV. And I would see, you know, Reboot. I would see our uh, Goosebumps. uh Beast Wars, Shadow Raiders, all those great shows. Oh, um, for God's sake, you are really bringing that on, our you? Yeah. Uh, Shadow Raiders, too. Yeah, Shadow Raiders was a good show. Uh, you know, one of the spawn of reboot and all that. Um, but yeah, that's where I really got to go and watch these shows. And I remember for the first time watching reboot, I was like, this is probably my all time favorite show. Um, <laughs> Like it, it, it just was. It was such a good show. And then I remember, uh, maybe two or three years later, um, uh, we had just moved to Rockwood and where I live, and they were uh, this one summer they were running uh, marathons of the show on uh, YTV, and me, my, I would always call up my buddy Anthony who lived down the street from me. And I would invite him over to my house and uh, we'd watch Reboot on my TV uh, for like three or four hours a day. And, you know, it was a lot of fun. Um, Those were the days, huh? Oh, yeah. Sit there and watch TV for five hours at a time. (laughs) Yeah, that was basically our first um, our first foray into uh, binge watching a TV show. (laughs) <laughs> before that was even a thing yeah it was binge watching before it was even binge watching <laughs> um so yeah you know it, it just it was really fun times um so uh obviously you know we've all watched the series at least you know fully at least once and such uh so how much of the story do you guys remember um cory how about you go first well i actually haven't seen much of the show since it was originally airing back when i was a kid Mm -hmm. so as for specifics um i'll be re-watching as we go along here Mm -hmm. i do remember of course the characters and some of the later plot points and stuff like that but it's really just the whole the thing as a whole that has a memory has memory for me Mm -hmm. so i'll be 
re-exploring it as we go along in this uh, little adventure of ours. Yeah. Um, Hillary, just before we move on to you, I just want to uh, say something for the listeners and a lot. Uh, we do have a format for the show. I will be discussing that a little bit later uh, with you. Um, so don't worry. We'll get to it eventually and all that. Um, but now, Hillary, um, how about you? Well, I've seen the whole series start to finish about three or four times, so you could probably quiz me on it if you wanted. Hmm, okay. Um, hmm. 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 Honestly, I, I, I've been so busy today that my mind's <laughs> drawing a blank, so we we'll can, do that. We'll have we some fun. We'll figure and, that one later. Yeah, we'll figure that one out for later and all that. Um, but yeah, no, that's pretty cool. Um,. All right, well, uh, how about you, Alex? I've watched this show at least two or three times myself, uh, but it's been quite some time since my last rerun. Mm -hmm. uh, so oh, I, I'll remember as I start watching, and then everything's going to come back, and I'll be knowing the details of the show from top to bottom. But till I start rewatching start re it, yeah, for now, it's going to be a good surprise again. Yeah, exactly. Um and I guess uh, for myself and all that, um, I own it on DVD uh, a couple of months ago. I did a full watch through of it. Uh, I, I know the story pretty much back to uh, like start to finish and such. Um, and, you know, like we had pretty much the first season was essentially just a whole um, bunch of like one off uh, episodes. Of course, there was the two parter uh uh, identity crisis near the end of it but you know there wasn't really much like there's continuity but at the same time there wasn't continuity uh it, it was pretty much all just a bunch of you know one-off episodes and such uh season two of course you know we had a lot of one-off episodes uh, except for the final four episodes which is uh more of the web world wars kind of arc uh you know and then uh season three of course was uh it was very Enzo slash Matrix um, heavy, you know, uh, we lose Bob at the end of season two, and then, you know, uh, Enzo becomes the new guardian on the block, and then he winds up, uh, him and Andrea in first get, they get lost in the games, and then they have to make their way back to, uh, back to mainframe while also searching for Bob, and then, you know, they fight Megabyte, and uh, they wind up winning just by a hair by a hair and um you know and then uh obviously season four was uh the aftermath of saving mainframe and then restarting it uh rebooting it um <laughs> you, yeah. you said something about megabyte in season three yeah they they fought megabyte at the end of season three remember no they had to defeat daemon no, Damon was uh, the first four That's episodes season of season four. four. Yeah. yeah. If you guys haven't realized, uh, spoiler alert! If you haven't seen the show. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Maybe you sh you should keep that for a future podcast about everything that's happening in the show. You know. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I'm just doing like I'm doing a very brief uh, plot You're synopsis. Gonna, that's not brief. You're Probably going too much into details. Uh, man. Yeah. Heavy spoilers for those of you who haven't <laughs> seen it yet. So. Uh... Yeah. True. Uh, I'll, I'll, I might have to make this an edit point, but eh, whatever. <laughs> um. But anyways, yeah, so, you know, suffice it to say, we know the story pretty much uh, start to finish. Uh, some of us better than others. Hillary. Sorry, I, just, I was just imagining <laughs> the start of season four with my two bobs, but that's not oh. until episode five. Yeah, five of season four. Anyways, um, so, okay, well, obviously, you know, we all know the information and such like that. Um, so... I guess we'll move on to why we're doing this podcast. Uh, as I mentioned before, Rainmaker has announced that they're making a brand new season of Reboot. Uh, and as I said, I, I thought this would be a great way to celebrate it. Um, I gathered these guys together because uh, they're all fairly close friends of mine. Um, I've known, obviously, you know, I, I, Corey's on my, uh, my Toronto Power Rangers team. Hill 3 I've known since high school, and Alex I've known since I got my PS4 last year, <laughs> and um, all that stuff. And uh, I know they're all as big of, uh, you know, big a uh, group of geeks as I am uh, about the show, and, uh, you know, it was pretty much a no-brainer. 
Um, I, I thought that this podcast would be a great way to give the new generation that uh, the new season will uh, uh, of fans uh, that it'll create a way to you know be able to uh, quickly catch up on the season on the series without you know having to go back and rewatch uh, you know try and find the old show. And, Which uh, they totally should if they can. Yes, I I am saying that you know I'm not saying that they shouldn't go watch it. They should because this is a this is an amazing TV series. But you know, um, it'll just That's be easy yeah. This is true and all that. But you know, uh, it's just more of an analysis into the uh, the events of the series, so that it will help them to more understand the events of the new series uh, and all that. Because it has been stated that uh, uh, the main characters from the old series will have a, they won't be the main characters in the new series, but they'll have a very very strong presence in the new series. So, for example, uh, Fong, you know, he wasn't uh, a he was and wasn't a main character of the series, uh, but he, he more was filling the mentor secondary. role. Yeah, as a secondary main character, uh, you know, he was serving the mentor role to uh, to the rest of the main characters. So, you know, Bob, Enzo, Dot, uh, Frisket. Well, not Frisket, because <laughs> he really can't talk. But, uh, you know, Andrea, <laughs> you know, all that stuff. So... You know, I, I figured that this would be a great way to, you know, introduce these guys to the events of that series and such. Do you have uh, a favorite character? God, I, I've been trying to figure that out over the last couple of days. Um, really, I, I, I'd have to go with Enzo slash Matrix just because he gets the most character development of the whole entire series, like all the characters. Uh Bob comes in at a second, very close second, because, you know, he gets quite a bit of character development. Uh, Dodd was more just kind of there and all that. Uh, like, I know she's the main character and all that, but she, I, I, I don't know, she just didn't get as much character development and stuff like that. And obviously, Andrea, you know, she, she got a fair amount of character development as well. But for me, it had to be Matrix or Enzo, whichever you want to go with and all that. Um what about you, Corey? Honestly, I don't know. I I remember them all quite vividly. Um, and naturally, I, when I was a kid, I think it was probably Bob just because he was the main hero guy. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to decide that later once I've gone through the series again. Because it's just... I remember all the characters vividly but as for a favorite i can't answer that at the moment well yeah you, it's you'll too ha- long yeah you'll have a very good chance um uh just to give a little background information for how this uh the schedule of releases are going to go for our uh, show and all that but uh once we're done all the main episodes we're going to be doing a bunch of uh favorites episodes so uh for example our 10 uh 10 least and most favorite uh characters of the series so that'll be a good chance for you to figure it out then uh cory and all that um so you know which i think will be a lot of fun um moving on uh what about you hillary my favorite character would be hexadecimal yeah oh you're a hex girl yeah <laughs> yeah oh that's cool uh what interests you uh interested you so much about it about hexadecimal? Yeah, or sorry, I should say about her, not it. Yeah, I was confused. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I guess I just like how she's chaotic, and I think she's hot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, you know, she, I, personally, I, I think she got really when she like I thought she was fugly to start with, but then when she got her um, her sprite do we, mode. Do you even watch when she walks? Okay, I'll, okay, I'll admit that ass, that ass. <laughs> and, okay, fine. I'll also admit she has a nice pair of legs, um, but that's beside the point. God damn, it, I feel dirty talking about it now. The way her hips <laughs> move should. when she walks. <laughs> True, but it's like those spikes on her head. They, it's like, uh, I think I'd be worried about stabbing myself with those more than anything else. But. Okay, that, like, yeah, we're, we're not going to go to that dark. You can think someone's hot without like going, how am I going to have sex with them? <laughs> true, I guess that's true. Um, 
but yeah um <laughs> oh great we're, we've already gone down down that hole uh we're not even what half an hour into this um <laughs> uh moving on how about you alex um yeah other than the mental image you just gave me right now no, um... <laughs> Um, I don't think I have a favorite character, actually. I mean, from all I remember, they all had their interesting things, but I don't think I grew attached to any of them specifically. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, Exa was interesting. Uh, Enzo and Bob, because really they were pretty much the main focus most of the time. Mm -hmm. Got to a certain point, because she did bring something else to the show that you didn't see in the other characters that are around. And even Megabyte. I mean, Megabyte being the big bad evil for most of the show. Yeah. Um, that made it quite interesting. Um, it's, it's just a bit of a disappointment that some of the characters we haven't seen as much mm -hmm. uh, could have had a bit more emphasis on them. But, yeah. No, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Actually, you know what? Uh, I do have one other uh, entry into my favorites list, and... It, it comes as a pair, but hack and slash. Oh, they yeah. were they were comedic gold, like, and one of them's voiced by my one of my all time favorite uh, voice actors, uh, Gary Chalk, and all that. So it, it was even better. And so yeah, um, I guess that's that. Um, we're gonna take a break, and uh, you guys are going to hear a clip from the show, and we will be right back. Happy, sad, intrigued. I've never been so in touch with my emotions. And we are back. Um, again, joining me uh, is Corey, Hillary, and Alex. Um, so uh, we're going to be getting right now into our format and release schedule. Um, I've discussed this with my uh, castmates, and we're looking at doing a bi-weekly uh, uh, release schedule um we haven't fully nailed down when specifically we're going to be releasing episode one uh we all just have to kind of like figure out our uh, schedules at this point uh just to kind of hammer things down i'm hoping at the time of this recording which is again november 30th uh 2014 we're gonna get this started within the next month or so so by the end of december um, and then after that, we'll be doing uh, bi-weekly episode releases. Um, so, yeah, there's that. And then, um, as I stated, uh, basically how we're going to be going about the uh, the episodes and such is... Um, just switching to my uh, podcast schedule. Uh, basically, we're going to be doing, for the first uh, da, 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 18 episodes, we're going to be doing... Um, mainly just review episodes uh we're gonna be going uh, generally we're gonna be doing three episodes per uh per episode or sorry three reboot episodes per podcast episode so for example season episode one is going to be season one episodes one two and three and then so on and so forth now for uh for other episodes uh mainly at the end of season one uh, and uh, for most of season three, we're going to be doing uh, likely three to four uh, uh, episode uh, records, um, mostly because season three had basically four different episode arcs. Um, I just want to cover each one, you know, so it, it makes sense and all that. Um, now, at the end of each uh, season, we're going to be doing a overall discussion and recap. Uh, of that season, uh, just to kind of like just go over quickly, go over the events to, uh, you know, just discuss everything that happened and all that, uh, before we go into the next season. Uh, but then at the very end of the series, uh, or the, at the, uh, very end of the main episodes, uh, we're going to be doing an overall season over, or sorry, series overall discussion and recap followed by a number of special episodes, including favorites, uh, music discussion, webcomic discussion and such like that. And our plan is hopefully that if we can get uh, our podcast done, uh, you know, in uh, 
you know, within the schedule that we have laid out, uh, we're hoping that the new season will actually be airing by the time we get this done. So that means that we can basically go right from doing this or doing these episodes into the brand new season and start reviewing that as well. You know, and now, of course, that's that's just uh, our hope and all that. But, you know, we can only pray <laughs> and such. Um, now, for the regular episodes, uh, basically what the listeners can expect is um, – We'll basically just re- be reviewing the episodes. We'll be looking at uh, major plot events, trivia, you know, our favorite uh, moments, uh, thoughts on the story, uh, characters, characters, pop culture references. Because that is one thing reboot is really well known for is its pop culture references. Even though they actually. are a little hilariously out of date nowadays. <laughs> this is true. This is true. But... You know. Well, that, that's what you get for having you know a TV series. It's over what thirteen years old now. Um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Wait, ninety four. Your age minus two. Wait, no, ninety four. Uh, actually, wait, no, never mind. Uh, this show has been out for twenty years. Yeah. Well, yeah, but then we're going by also when it and yeah, it ended. Point. True. Yeah. Very good point. Very good point. Um, it ended which year? Uh, two thousand one. Yeah. Yeah, so in that case, it's 13 years. Yeah. Yeah, 2001 with that really shitty-ass fucking cliffhanger. God damn it. I'm sorry. It, yeah. it, it really pissed me off. And yeah, I know it yeah. We'll, off we'll get people. to that later. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that eventually. Um, so one thing we also need to mention, uh, there will be spoiler spoiler alerts. Uh, or, sorry, spoilers given throughout the series uh, because, well, hey, hint. It's been out for 20 years. So, you know, if you haven't seen it by now, go watch it. <laughs> Plus, uh, when you're doing episode reviews, it's kind of hard to do a proper one without mentioning the things that happen in the episode. So. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, person A did this to person B, and then person C had to come in and save the day. And it yeah, was no. really awesome, but we can't tell you why. So. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> you know, we, we can't really do anything like that. Um, so, yeah, there's that. And then, of course, you know, as I said, we will be doing bi-weekly releases, hopefully by the end of December uh, and starting off in the new year. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, basically everything we have on that stuff. Uh, so just flipping through my notes again. Um, uh, okay, here we go. Uh, so lastly, um, uh, you know, uh, basically why you, the listener should, uh, subscribe to our show is, um, this That's is going to be awesome. a very fun... <laughs> yes, because we're awesome. Um, <laughs> hey, Corey, have I ever told you you have a really bad ego? I'm, ki- I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah, um, yeah, I know. No, uh, no. honestly, you know what, listeners, you guys should really subscribe to our show because this is going to be a very fun show. Uh, we've got a lot of really great content planned out for you guys. Uh, uh, you know, there, Obviously, you, know, we, you can see we all have a pretty good rapport with each other and all that, so it'll be a lot of fun to listen to us talk about this show. And, uh, you know, uh, there's going to be a lot of humor in the show. And as I can probably tell from our talk about Hexadecimal, we're going to be going down the low road really quickly. <laughs> and all that. But, you know, it, it always makes for good comedy. Okay, if, if you had to choose Hexadecimal... Dot, Mouser, Andrea. I don't know. That mono boob is pretty enticing. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? You know what? I've always had a thing for Andrea. I've always had a thing for her. I hope you're talking about the adult one. Of course I'm talking about the adult <laughs> one, you idiot. Uh, Just yeah. You know, Mouse... Okay, she's purple, but still. Yeah, I guess... You know, it, it, Okay, basically, it would have to be Andrea and older... Sorry... Adult Andrea and Mouse arm wrestling for me to, you know, choose. Um, arm wrestling. Yeah. Uh, uh, or I if I Mouse would win. Fine, make it mud wrestling. Yeah. Make it mud wrestling. We'll make it really oh, interesting. Oh, because we're going there already. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we've already gone there with hexadecimal. We might as well go with this one too. That's true. 
Wait, wait, wasn't there an episode that they did something similar to mud wrestling? I don't actually know. Well, let's ask our residents, having done this a bajillion times. Who? Anyway. We'll find out when we watch back the Her episode. name's not Haley, dude. It's Hillary. Hillary. Whatever. I'm done with names. I'll get <laughs> wait, it. What happened? <laughs> 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 oh, we're just poking fun at you, Hillary. That's what all. What did I do? I didn't mud wrestle anyone. No, but you should or probably did know you? someone in the show did. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. Uh, that went <laughs> nowhere. Yeah, it, it really didn't go anywhere there. Um, I'm trying to think. Did Hexadecimal and Dot ever fight each other over Bob? Oh, I know. I, I or think did I, Dot and Mouse? Oh, 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 I yeah, know. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. No, I no. Everyone wants You were Bob. talking about... Um, um, the wrestling game show, Q show, no? No, Hexadecimal and Damon. They had that gigantic fight. And, yeah, but you know, that wasn't, like, sexy or anything, was it? Oh, uh, Damon was pretty hot. You know, in a, in a supervised, I mean, a kill you all kind of way. <laughs> yeah, she looks kind of young. Yeah, I guess. Um, but as we've already established, Ian's kind of into that. So. <laughs> oh, fuck off, dude. Fuck off. I am not. A... Yeah. Uh, I can just tell this is going to be. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, yes, as you can probably all tell, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, if this is gonna be fight. a fun show. This is gonna if be a fun show. If we don't ring each other's throats by the end of it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'll be seeing Corey first, so I think he's my first target. Uh, <laughs> Remember Corey next weekend. <laughs> um, well, let me just flip through, make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Uh, does anybody have anything else they'd like to add? Not really. No. Yes, you're terrible at telling why people need to 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 subscribe to the show. Well, That's you what I'm add something? Yes, you will learn lots of things from this show. Uh, uh, the least of which is how you know how low we can go on the depths of depravity of the human race. <laughs> Uh, Which means you might want to prevent your children from listening too much. Yes. Uh, th thank you for bringing that up, Alex. Uh, one thing I do want to quickly mention: this show is going. This show will be tagged explicit, and so if you don't like swearing or really dirty humor, dark humor, or whatever, then too late. <laughs> yeah, t <laughs> too late. Um, uh, unfortunately, you might not be able to listen to our podcast then. Um, so with that, I'm going to thank you all for listening, to, uh, tuning in for our, uh, episode zero of this podcast. Uh, there are several ways for you to get into contact with us and leave feedback for the show. Uh, if you want to uh, send us emails, uh, please send them to AOM podcast, no spaces at hotmail or sorry, not hotmail outlook.com. Uh, you can become a fan of us on Facebook. Uh, just look up Archives of Main, uh, Mainframe. Sorry, Archives of Mainframe, a uh, reboot po uh, review podcast. Uh, we are also getting our YouTube page uh, set up so we can uh, post our podcast episodes there as well as to iTunes. Um, Corey, do you have a uh, Twitter handle? Uh, yeah, for me, it's CoreyMon77. Uh, I post some random things, mostly some things from open media and other stuff like that. Not too active there, but every now and again. Okay. Uh, what about you, Hillary? I don't have any of that kind of stuff memorized. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Uh, what about you, Alex? Yeah, I do have a Twitter, but I don't use it right now. I mean, I do have my three gem Twitter, which is, Cote at three uh, Cote at, uh, at three gem Cote, I believe. But um, by I mean, the way, that's three gem C O T E, three gem yes. C O T E. <laughs> and you can pronounce it at the beginning of the show, but don't mind it. Yeah, I just go by Alex. A lot easier. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, so I'm going to thank you all for listening to our podcast, and until next time, uh, this has been. Uh, Archives at Mainframe, 
and join us next time when we will be reviewing the first three episodes of Season 1 of Reboot, those being The Tearing, Racing the Clock, and The Quick and the Fed. And as the show says, Reboot!